1 Peter 3.15, we hear these words, In your hearts, honor Christ the Lord as holy. Always be prepared to make a defense to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is within you. That word defense is where we get the word apologetics, the part of Christian theology where we answer objections to the Christian faith and make a positive case for the historicity of Jesus' life, death, and resurrection, and how we show the veracity and the verifiability of eyewitness accounts of Jesus' life in the four Gospels. One way to do this is, like Peter and Paul do over and again in the book of Acts, they show by proofs from the scriptures and argument and eyewitnesses and evidence how Jesus died and rose again as he said he would. Sometimes the apostles use another strategy, though. They tell a story. Paul does this in Acts 17 when he's in Athens. Let's listen to just a little bit of the story and see how he does it. Men of Athens, Paul says, I perceive that in every way you're very religious. As I passed along and observed the objects of your worship, I found also an altar with this inscription, To the unknown God. What therefore you worship as unknown, this I proclaim to you. And then Paul goes on to tell them, using their own storytellers, philosophers, and poets, how God made the world, gives us life, cares for creation, watches over us, preserves us, will judge at the end of time through the righteousness of one man. And the assurance of all of this and more, Paul says, is given by raising that one man, you know who it is, it's Jesus, by raising him from the dead. Now Paul ended this true story of salvation with Jesus' resurrection, and some laughed, some scoffed, some ignored him, and yet... Some wanted to hear more. Some believed. They heard the story and wanted to know more of the story. Now, what Paul did in Athens, we can do in our own vocations as Christians too. We can defend and declare the gospel using our imaginations and the stories God gives us to point to the gospel. It might not be Stoic or Greek philosophers like Paul used, but chances are you probably know a story or two that points to the gospel, or you could use the stories of the scriptures themselves that give us the good news. Think of Jesus' parable, the prodigal son and the gracious father. Or sometimes it's simply as simple as telling your story to your family or your friends, your classmates, people telling people the old, old story of Jesus and his love, how Jesus was born for you, how he died for you, how he rose from the dead for you. So think of all the ways that you as God's baptized Christian can use your imagination and that imagination of a storyteller, to tell other people of God's unimaginable grace and mercy in Jesus. And that is a story that your friends and your family and others in your life need to hear. Next time, we'll spend a little bit of time discovering the joy of our identity in Christ as God's baptized creators and story creators in our vocations in life as well. Until then, Rest in the totally sufficient, imputed righteousness of Christ.